Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for this morning's Egg Report. Well, it's a big day for cattle producers as the USDA will release their semi-annual cattle inventory report this afternoon. It will surely reflect tightening supplies across the industry, but the question is how much? Expectations are for a 3 to 4 percent reduction in beef cow numbers nationally, which would be more than a million head drop. In Montana, beef cow numbers have been falling since 2018, dropping 13 percent the past four years from 1.5 million cows to just under 1.3 million a year ago. USDA said in 2021 the Montana cow herd shrunk by 6 percent, but other data suggests that it could have been at least double that, so we'll be watching for adjustments to last year's numbers too. Other figures to keep an eye on will be replacement heifers, feeders outside of feedlots, and the 2022 calf crop. Well, Senator Daines and Representatives Rosendale and Zinke sent a letter urging the Biden administration to hold its hearing concerning American Prairie's grazing proposal in Malta rather than billing, so Montanans affected most by the proposal will be allowed to attend the hearing. The letter to BLM Director Tracy Stone Manning said American Prairie's proposal would open nearly 70,000 acres of public lands in Phillips County to grazing by non-production livestock, modify season of use, and eliminate interior fencing. So the lawmaker said it's critical that local land use changes and conflicts are discussed in affected communities. We'll see you back here shortly for the markets. Discover the difference a family-owned Montana bank can make for you and your business. Stockman Bank is focused only on Montana, no place else. So you come first with us. Visit your neighborhood Stockman Bank to say hello and let us earn your trust and your business. Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Ag Report. The USDA has announced the appointment of 40 new members to the Cattlemen's Beef Promotion and Research Board. Ben Peterson, a rancher from Judith Gap, was appointed to fill one of Montana's three seats on the board. In addition to running the E.L. Peterson Ranch, Peterson also serves on the Montana Farmers Union and Montana Premium Processing Cooperative Boards. Peterson will feel, fill the seat previously held by Linda Grandy of Columbus, who served on the board for six years. The two other members from Montana serving on the board are Turk Stovall of Billings and Katie Cooper of Willow Creek. Well, cattle futures were optimistically anticipating this afternoon's cattle on feed report on Monday because live cattle went to new contract highs. Cash fed cattle trade last week steadied to a dollar lower with live sales averaging 155 dressed at 248. The way up market has been trading higher lately at Glendive Livestock, cows sold up into the high 70s and bulls topping at a dollar seven and five to five and a half weight steers selling from 217 to 223. Lambs at the Newell Sheepyard sold steady to a little higher and the used firm from 58 to 65. And bitter cold temperatures did add support to the winter wheat on winter kill concerns. Winter wheat's been up for five straight sessions now. And more support could be coming to the market as the Ukrainian Grain Association expects their wheat production to be less than half of pre-invasion levels. Well, that's going to do it for today's Ag Report. Thanks so much for joining us and have a great day.